welcome to this Marsh Reviews and Tutorials video. We are going to be looking at what it takes to change a low beam globe and a high beam globe in an F30 BMW. This is a 3 Series. Okay, so the outside one is your low beam headlight. It's the one that comes on low beam. And then when it goes high beam, the low beam stays on and the high beam comes on as well. So you go effectively to four um, headlights. Low beam on the outside, high beam on the inside. So this is the one that's going to burn out the most because it's on the most. The high beam globe is the easy one. You, you lift your bonnet up and um, it's in here. This is just a little thing that you turn. You turn it anti-clockwise. You can actually see that the lug in that little circle there when it comes to the right place. Then you lift that up and then you can get in to your headlight globes and the angel eye light as well. That's all accessible through the top. This side though is right here on the panel as you can see where the wheel arch is and you can't get at it to get in behind this or for the blinker globe so this is for the blinker globe as well but i've got the wheel off at the moment and if you look in under here they've actually given you a little hidey hole in under here it's just got two um, clip latches that clip on over there and then two press down latches i'll pull it out so you can see it so it just slides in place at the bottom and these latches here you just have to press them down to get them out and i had to use a couple of screwdrivers actually it was a little bit tight to get out but when that panel's out you see another one of those headlight fittings you also see daylight straight through there so again anti-clockwise around like that take that out you see this little motor here your headlights do actually go up and down when you start the car you notice and they adjust that's that little motor there and then there is the back of the headlight globe. So that low beam one, if you have to change it. Now you could probably um, change it just by dropping that panel and leaving the wheel on, but uh, certainly a whole lot easier um, if you take the wheel off. And this with the wheel on, you can turn the wheel so it comes, like turn it that way so it gets out of the way. And then you get um, reasonable access in there. If you've got a lot of work to do though, obviously you can take the wheel off to get inside. But that is what it takes to get to that low beam headlight globe. Not an easy one to switch.